siblings, uh, a couple step siblings as well. Um, but who I am as a, as a as a fitness person is gonna be more geared towards looking great and feeling great and um, just trying to look your best really right like uh, what my goal is is to inspire people in order to work out like whether they're what situation they're in, where they're from, doesn't matter. Like I'm, I'm here to inspire and I'm here to teach a little bit. But I also want to, you know, I just I want to relate to those people that have had hard times and know that it's it's not the the end. There's there's no end there. There's it's only the beginning. So, so I mean, to the beginning, what inspired you when you were just starting off? When I when I started out, actually, it was uh, it might be a little cliche, but so when I started working out, it was actually back in high school. I did it a lot. Like I did it. Uh, like every other day, I think it was, like that you're allowed to. So like start in grade 10, go to grade 12, it's usually, you know, a class every day, but you can only go to the weight room like every three days or something, which sucked. But that's where I started. But then I got out of it for six years and moved in with my ex. Um, and from there, it was just, uh, you know, you know, women. So, um, why are you working out so much? Yeah, but no, it wasn't even that because I wasn't even working out at the time. We it was only like near the end of our relationship actually that I got back into it because she got really hard in the fitness and then I got back into fitness. And then from there, it just kind of snowballed where I just now I'm obsessed with it. Like, I'm seriously obsessed with fitness. I go home, I eat, sleep, and breathe fitness. Like, and more or less bodybuilding, it's all bodybuilding. That is my, my go to, the classic division, the old golden era that is my go-to like that's what i try to portray and that's the division i'm going to go towards once i hit the stage um but that where it comes from is literally just from uh, growing up like liking it and then i obviously just kind of loved it and went full force kind of into it um because i wasn't really great in school but i was good at working out i was really good at kind of messing with the dna messing with you know the scientific biology of shit and just kind of you know just doing what, what worked. Um, what I started out was the Arnold's Big Encyclopedia book. And that, from there, literally, I learned so much. I read almost that entire book besides the anabolic part because I'm not into the anabolics. So, but I pretty much read that book back and forth. Like I, I go back and forth some days and I'm just gonna read it, right? Just to kind of get that, that knowledge from back in the day. Um, and that's where a lot of my training programs when I started out, I kind of started with his first level training, second level training, then the advanced training, and then I just kind of, then I've kind of went in my own direction of what I've learned over the years as well and the research I've done. Um, like basically, just trial and error. What we're it's all trial. It's always trial and error with fitness. It's yeah. like you cannot just be, you know, take one regimen and one nutrition plan, and that will work for you because it probably won't. It may work for some, but it won't work for another, like another group of people. Like it's, it's. It's so finicky, but you have to find it. You have to find what works, whether it's low carbs, high fats, or high carbs, no fats, and protein. But the main thing is with that, you gotta you always wanna keep the protein the same. So you just have to find what works for you. And make sure, but I've talked to Freddie about this, is this, and we, I think we've vlogged about it a bit, was you can't, don't do exercises that don't work for you. you know, or sorry, that, yeah, that don't work for you. Like stuff that, you know, like if a bicep curl doesn't work for you and you can't feel it, don't do it. Find a different angle. It's all about angles, 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 angles in this industry. You gotta find, you gotta start using different angles, you gotta start thinking about different angles, researching different angles, whatever it is. Whatever it's gonna help you grow, it's, you gotta, you gotta get into it. Like you gotta dig deep some days. And some days I'm just stuck in my house by myself, just going hard at, you know, research and scientific so research. Yeah. Where I want to go is in the classic division. I mean, like I said, I love that division. It looks a little bit more natural. It's more my style, 
I've asked uh, a pro competitor that goes to my gym and they ask me, you know, okay, so you want to get into a show, what are you going to do? Uh, and I said, classic. She's like, perfect, that's your physique. Like she just spotted me out, like just like that. She's like, that is your physique. So I was like, perfect, because that's, that's where I'm going. I want, that's where I want to go. Um, so that's, you know, like the lower waist, the cut waist, the nice feet taper, um, big shoulders, big chest, muscular legs, which seems to be my, my lighting point. I mean, they're, they're getting there, but I need to work on my prostrations a lot right now. And the definition needs to come out. But um, yeah, I might do the Toronto show. But when is when is that? The, that is August 11th for the amateur Toronto show. Are you going this year or aiming for next year? Aiming for this year. Uh, the hardest part right now, because I am a beer lover, is giving up that beer for <laughs> three months, twelve weeks. So I mean, that's when is the when is actually your deadline for your decision? If it's twelve weeks, deadline is just after May. Just or, sorry, just after the end of May. So like, oh, you got a few weeks. I think like two or three weeks, I have to start prepping. So, so it's- today we're having beers after this. Yeah, so today we're having, we are having beers. beers. Um, yeah, we're definitely having beers after this. So, but yeah, and I have, I have a lot of support. Good conversation. When it goes into uh, this like prep or whatever, I know a few people like, you know, I know trainers, I know, you know, competitors and stuff like that. So I think it'll, it'll really help me out mm -hmm. um, getting to know these people more and their, their knowledge. It's the biggest thing is that you gotta you gotta you gotta research around. And you gotta talk to all different kinds of people and get your consensus about bodybuilding and like fitness. Is it hard to talk to people strictly at the gym? Or? Most at the gym, yeah. Like uh, even on Instagram or something. I could, if I reach out to somebody, they they may you know talk to me. They may you know respond or not. But some of them don't because they're pretty busy and they're bigger guys with much more stuff to do. So, but it's nice to get those guys that will actually talk to you. But I'm one of those guys that will talk to you for the most part, unless you're some weirdo, but because <laughs> um, I've had some weirdos on there, that's for sure. I want to take you guys on my journey to my first ever amateur show, so I, I would love your feedback. I mean, I, I love comments. I don't even care if it's negative. You can hit me with whatever. It ain't going to hurt me. So, um, but yeah, I, uh, that's definitely the way we're going to go. We're going to vlog out probably my first show. I'm going to try to take as much like filming and content as I can possible. And um, yeah, and I'll, I'll definitely throw in educational here and there. You know, I'm not like the a university graduate or, a, you know, a college graduate at that, but uh, I'm definitely, <laughs> I, got a, I got a wheelhouse of exercises that, you know, reach far beyond, but someone just follows a certain little piece of paper. Like I have tons of workouts and tons of different ways to work out, so and different angles and different settings and kind of where you can work out. Like, you know what I mean? There's, so you're gonna see a lot of, a lot of good content basically in the next year. You're gonna see, and I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna pump it out. Like I'm, I, I feed my Instagram every day. So with the, with the, the YouTube, it's gonna be different because I'm gonna have to edit a lot more. We're gonna have to, you know, take our time really, right? But with Instagram, I'm gonna keep feeding it. I'll keep putting, posting, um, more or less educational, but sometimes it might be a little motivational and maybe a little inspire, like inspiring because that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to inspire the youth, inspire the still the older generations of people that are older than me. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that's that's where the where I'm going to market more or less. But I don't like saying I'm going to market you or try to market you. I'm just trying to put out there that I'm out here to help. I'm out. I'm here to. I lift to uplift the world, and that's what I want to try to portray on the social media grounds. Sure. on the platforms. That's awesome. So we got, got that going. The insane veins. I am God. We're going to do some shoulders, like I just told everyone on Instagram Live. Um, some FST7 uh, shoulders. Uh, and then because every day is arm day, we're gonna train a little bit of arms too. Woo! There you go. So.